In this video, I am telling you how I personally incorporate peptides into my skincare routine, my wellness routine for anti-aging and skin health. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do for my kind of current updated skincare routine. There are two quick ways that you can get peptides in your routine right now, which is what I do. The first one is an oral supplement. So collagen powder, peptides, this is the one I take. I'm gonna link this below. The video is not about this today. I have two other awesome videos on my channel. I'll link those below if you're more interested in peptides, collagen that you can take as a supplement, like mix it in water. The second way is your skincare routine with very well formulated products to get peptides on the skin, get them to penetrate and do their job. So in this video, I am showing you how I put this in my skincare routine as of late. Peptides are an amazing benefit to your skincare routine. There's a lot of science behind them. Um, one of the main benefits that I think peptides have is that they can give you many of the benefits that retinol and retinoids, your prescription tretinoin are giving your skin, but with way less irritation. So I have found that a much wider variety of skin types can tolerate peptides compared to retinoids. So a huge benefit there, if you are one of these people who've tried and failed retinoids or just don't like to use those or can't use those in your routine for some reason, try peptides, okay? So currently, I personally have not given up on my retinoid because it is a staple in my routine. So I'm actually using both and I'm gonna show you how I balance those in my routine in this video. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, known here on YouTube as the Budget Dermatologist, where I help you make skincare simple and approachable and always show you a wide range of products that can work for many different skin conditions. So make sure you're subscribed if this content resonates with you. Come follow me on Instagram at the Budget Dermatologist. So let's get started. So let me reiterate really quick before I delve into my whole routine, I am not replacing my retinoid product with that. I'm still using my top pick retinoids I've used for years, the strongest thing you can get to prescription strength over the counter. I'm gonna link this one below. But what I have found is that I am using this a little bit less frequently, but more consistently. So if you feel like you go in these cycles where you're trying to use your retinoid, but then you're breaking out or you're getting retinoid dermatitis or dryness or irritation on your skin, and then you're stopping it for a long time, take a break, step back, reset your skin and use it less because using it less, but more consistently can give you results. So that's kind of where I am at right now. So this has not gone away. It's still in my routine very consistently, but sometimes just three times a week, max five times a week, but you don't even have to use it that much and you can still get results. So with all of that said, my point here is that the peptide comes into my routine because I am now using that on nights, which is more frequently lately, that I am taking a break from my retinoid product. Those are the nights that I am incorporating my peptide product, which I will show you in just a second. So let me break it down for you what I do with my peptide routine. So it's nighttime. What are we gonna do first? Cleanse our skin. So you can either use a simple, straightforward, gentle cleanser, one-step cleansing routine. If you do not have makeup on or waterproof sunscreen, simple, get the job done. But if you are somebody who's gonna come home at the end of the day, you have a lot of makeup on, you have that waterproof sunscreen, whatever, you might, might want to do a double cleanse. So I'm just showing you the two products I am using right now. This is a long lasting holy grail of mine, the Versed um, Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. You can see that here. It's amazing and it's super affordable. So just a teeny little bit of this, you rub it in to get all of your eye makeup off, everything else done. And then I follow it up with a gentle cleanser. Any gentle cleanser will do. This is one I am trying lately by Versed. It is called the Purest. It's an antioxidant cleanser. This one is under $10. So it's a must. I never try to spend more than $10 if I don't have to on a gentle cleanser because you can get so many good ones and it just needs to get the job done. It doesn't need to be fancy. So this is a great one. Now step two or three, depending if you've done a double cleanse is the fun part. It's your peptide serum. I have actually tried out a lot of peptide serums over the last few months from a range of prices. So I'm going to show you a few of kind of the standout products here. I like to specifically go for products that have matrix cell 3000 as the form of peptide in it, because I think that this complex of peptides has more support for building new collagen in the skin. I want to start by mentioning one of the lowest price peptide serums that has the matrix cell um, complex in it that I've tried. It is by 
the Inky List, their collagen building product for $12.99. I've mentioned this on my channel before. It is a great option if you're looking for something really affordable. And then the next most affordable option that I've tried is by The Ordinary. So they have two products that I think are good for peptides on the skin, the multi-peptide plus hyaluronic acid serum. And then this one that I really like, the Matrixil 10% plus hyaluronic acid. So this one is actually right around $10. This one is right around $17. So if you're looking for a great dose of peptides that has that Matrixil 3000 complex in it, this is what I recommend. The Matrixil 10% by The Ordinary, extremely affordable price. So let me show you this one up close. This one compared to the Inky List, they have that similar complex of peptides in them. Um, the Inky List one has actually a little bit more of a simple formulation compared to this one, but they feel really similar on the skin. So you can see this is the ordinary one. It's just a thin serum. There's really not a lot to say about it. It's supposed to just be put on your fresh cleansed skin and then absorb in lightweight which is exactly what it does. It does not finish heavy on the skin or sticky or tacky or anything like that. It is just a very lightweight, smooth, absorbs well, very simple. So that's the ordinary. Now, I recently discovered um, through all my research and deep diving here, um, Timeless. So Timeless actually has one of those vitamin C kind of skinceutical dupes. So I've been checking out some of their other products and they have a Matrixil 3000 serum. And this is the simplest of all the formulations. So it has Matrixil 3000 in it and it has hyaluronic acid, again, like some of these others. So it really can be considered kind of a hybrid duo serum. This one is just around 26 or $27. I'm gonna link this one below too but you can see it here. Let's try it on the other hand. I'll just show you all of these products now that I've tried all of these peptide serums. You can see they all look very similar um, and they finish very similarly on the skin. There's really no issue with any of them um, that I've found. They don't pill, they don't finish tacky or anything. So there's really not much to see, which is good. It should just be applied to the fresh cleansed skin and absorb it. I told you I've tried a lot. So yet another one that I've tried is the Paula's Choice Pro Collagen Multi-Peptide Booster. Listen, anytime Paula's Choice has a product in the category that you are looking for or has a new product launch, whatever it is, you have to check it out. This brand is one of my favorite skincare brands because their products are just formulated so well. I could go on and on, but this video is not about that. So you can see that the Paula's Choice product has just a little bit of a thicker texture or consistency, but again, absorbs in really nicely and quickly and finishes very nice, smooth on the skin. So not much to say about that again, which is what we want. So those are the main peptide serums that I have tried, a whole range of prices there, all focused around that Matrixil um, 3000 ingredient. So I'm gonna link all of those below and that's what you're putting on your skin as your next step. This is your treatment step. It's going to do your anti-aging, skin brightening, skin barrier strengthening, and kind of help your skin reset on nights like this when we're taking a break from our retinoid. And last step of our nighttime skincare routine here, we're resting and resetting. So I am going with a thicker moisturizer on the nights where I'm taking off from that retinoid. We are resting and repairing here. So let's build up that skin barrier. I have a few options for you for the perfect nighttime thicker moisturizer, different price range here, kind of different angles that you can take to approach your anti-aging, starting with one of my favorites. It's the more pricey option, but it's awesome. It's by Aven, the Retronal Ceramide. It's this amazing pump top container to keep it all fresh. So I like this one because this contains, it's thick, it's it's thicker. It contains um, Bacuchiol, which is a retinol alternative. So it's gonna be giving you those retinol-like benefits, but without the side effects, it's super gentle on the skin. And then in addition, this has other ceramides in it, which are gonna give you that nice, thick, luxurious feel. And then this one also has niacinamide in it, which is another key ingredient for rebuilding that skin barrier. So I'll link this one below. You usually can wait and get this on a sale and really help save yourself some money. Event has some great sales throughout the year. 
um, and this lasts a long time and it stays fresh with this little click container. So I'm gonna link this below. But say you want a more affordable option, I've got you covered. I have several more options to show you. This one, Dream by Three Ships. This is a great like natural beauty brand. I've talked about this numerous times on my channel before. This is $39 and it has this amazing pump top container here. So this has a bio retinol in it again. So we are tacking anti-aging from the angle, ah, excuse me there, of a retinol alternative. So look at the texture here, thicker balm cream-like texture. And it just feels really nice and luxurious on the skin. Super, super clean formulation. Three Ships has a lot of amazing products and this night cream is one of them. So I'll link this below too. So next, if you want something even more affordable and you want to go with more peptides. So we've talked about two options that are more of your retinol alternatives to attack aging from that angle. But if we wanna go to the peptide route, we've done our serum, but you can also do a peptide moisturizer like this one by the inky list very affordable option in another pump top container i love how so many brands lately are making pump top containers and it keeps our products fresh for longer so check this out this texture is similar to the other two i just showed you very thick and luxurious so this is going to do an amazing job sealing in your peptide serum and then moisturizing and repairing the skin, helping you hold on to that hydration overnight. And my last recommendation for your last step of your skincare routine here is by Versed. It's actually another newer product. It's the Sweet Relief Overnight Barrier Balm. Now this one is a little different than all the others I showed you because check it out. It's really more of a balm than a cream. The others were like cream more so than a balm. This one's definitely balm more so than a cream. That makes sense. You can see it comes out like that. So it's very thick. So if you really want to just pile this on the skin and get that really good seal and repair there, this is an awesome product that I've really enjoyed using. And you can see it literally melts in and absorbs. So it actually feels nice. It does not surprisingly sit or feel heavy on the skin. So this has a lot of other antioxidants in it too. And this one is about $18. I'm going to link this below too. But wait, we're not done yet. It's a new step that I have been adding in my routine. It's actually peptide skincare for your lips, okay? Peptides for the lips. This is one of kind of the biggest trends in skincare right now is all these brands are coming out with lip products because for so long, we've been putting all these ama amazing like collagen building ingredients on our skin, on our face, but we've been neglecting the lips. And I know most people don't even put SPF or sunscreen on their lips at all. We're not putting these collagen building ingredients on our lips. So I think it's time we try. A lot of brands are coming out with products. So I've tried this one. It came out recently by the Inky List, the Tri-Peptide Plumping Lip Balm. And I've tried this one by Paula's Choice the Hyaluronic Acid Plus Peptide Lip Booster. So here's a deal between these two. The formulation in these is actually extremely similar. They have the same peptide profile, but this one is much more affordable. So for me, I'd probably go with this one because I don't know that this is giving you much extra there, but I do like this nice little metal cooling applicator tip that is really nice on this product, but is it worth the additional price. You can decide that. I'm going to link both of these below and then I'll show you what the inky list one is like. Very nice, simple lip applicator top. So both of these are awesome. This is the one that I've kind of gravitated towards. You can put this on a couple times a day, morning and night. Peptides for your lips. Let's maintain that lip volume there and not neglect the lips. And that ends my peptide routine. So there you go. That is how I incorporate both peptides and retinoids into my nighttime skincare routine without layering, without making it too complicated, just keeping it simple, but keeping my skin renewed along the way as I try to preserve the collagen I have, maintain, and then build new collagen over time. If you guys have questions about any of that, let me know. I have a video coming up soon on nails and peptides for your nails, how I have 
regrown, strengthen my own nails and how I've helped my patients do the same. So we'll have a little bit of a deep dive on that. You guys let me know in the comments below what questions you have on peptides, what else we can learn about, and we will keep this conversation going. See you soon. Bye.